I'm Sandy Mellon. Welcome to Outdoor Quest TV. We are in South Africa hunting for the fall reed buck. It is a tiny little animal with pencil thin horns and they got great eyesight. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to try and find them and then get close enough for a shot where they are not running in the other direction. <laughs> We're at about 5,000 feet of elevation and hiking will be tough. It's very warm. So we found a ram. He's about 900 yards that way. So we're gonna pop down this hill and go around the, the bottom here. Hopefully he's not gonna have the line of sight on us. We'll get way over by these trees over here, hang up, up behind the ridge. If we can do it right, we can probably get within 100 yards of him on the other side of the ridge. We'll see. <laughs> could be a long trek for nothing, but it could be spot on. We've hiked about a mile circling the Bowl Valley, and now we just need to peek up over the ridge, and he should be there. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Zeiss Sport Optics. We make it visible. Hornady. Accurate. Deadly. Dependable. Corlane Sporting Goods. Home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle.
The longer I glass the far hillside, the more I come to realize that about half of the gray rocks are fall raybuck. The little critters are everywhere and nearly invisible. The valley is also full of baboons and blesbok and many other animals that can blow a stalk. We spend an enormous amount of time skirting out of sight. We work our way up the valley searching for a bigger ram. Finally, across the valley was a herd of folly, and with them, a great ram. With the wind howling in our face, Clint figured we were close and decided to slip ahead for a peek. Not only did we have 30 or 40 little gray rocks out there with eyes on us, there was also the dang blesbok to worry about. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Silver Willow Taxidermy. 
capturing the memories. Loa boots, handcrafted in Europe. Deluxe wall tents, built in Canada for Canadian conditions. I thought I blew it. The shot was just over his back and him and his little band of females headed out. I thought it was the last we were going to see of them. But Clint is ever the optimist and he just snuck ahead to see if we might be able to still get in on them. And we did. I lost focus just as it went to happen. Wind was blowing stuff oh. everywhere. <laughs> Ow, I hurt myself. Oh. Did he go down? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clint. I was pouting for a while, but it worked out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Craig. Oh my god. Okay. I'm just jealous. Wow. Oh man. It's not every day you get one that big. It's so perfect. Oh, look at the horns on him. And everybody at home says, what horns? But what this horns is indeed. not a North American animal. Oh, we had a perfect place to pose him for pictures and everything. <laughs> oh, look at his coat. He's like a bunny. He's like a bunny. He's just, he doesn't have, um, Hair. Yes, it's fur. It's more fur. Oh, jeez. They looked a whole lot bigger. I mean, I knew they were small, but they looked a whole lot bigger, even at 180 yards. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful animal. Oh, my. So, Clint, as far as these go? Very good. Cool. Very, very good.
That's great. Well, he... Oh, I had no idea really what to expect. They're, you know, they're small. Um, missed the first shot, but I'm, I'm practically looking for a burn mark <laughs> because I, I was about that close, yes. I think. It felt good. I squeezed off the shot, but boom, they went away. And it wasn't because I shot through them. Oh, he's beautiful. And we're beautiful. just lucky to catch up to them again. Yeah. Not often you get a second shot at one of these boys. No. Yeah. They just went over the ridge from us. And um, Clint just thought if we get down onto one ledge, we can maybe sneak along. And sure enough, that's where they were. So that is fantastic. Oh, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Puma SGB Knives, knife maker to the world since 1769. Defense aerosols, for when your life depends on it. The Wild Sheep Foundation, putting and keeping sheep on the mountain. Bush pig are reclusive and nocturnal, so how you hunt them is at night, over bait. Now Clint had a very active bait site going until the warthogs found it. And that's, that just, is the bull. Yes, so that's the, the big one. And you said, is, now is this guy got a lump on his He's got these big, big kind of protusions on his nose with a female that's just got a pointed, pointed snout. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a picture of a female. Okay, yep. So she's just, just got a straight, a straight nose, yeah. Yeah. So Clint, you said that um, the warthogs are coming in, causing a little bit of havoc, and they're chasing the bush pigs away in the daytime. So this yeah. this guy, you want him to get a one-way ticket to Canada? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's welcome to go there. <laughs> he's nice. Yeah, the base on feeding is just maize and, and uh, a damaged horse food that was a bit oh, moldy. Okay. Um, a lot of people use meat and stuff in it. That attracts mostly the bush pigs only. The water oh. won't touch that. Right. But I've been using this, and now the water have found it and think they, they own the spot. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go down here and check for pigs. Um, so we've come a long ways from the house, but down, you know, just this bumpy trail and whatnot, and the pigs are down in this area. So we're going to go see if we can bump into something. Yeah. <laughs> I said, right between the eyes. Yeah, that's why I said, where am I going to shoot him? And he said, right between the eyes. Okay. <laughs> you know, oh, day one. Well, that was fortunate, hey? Yeah, that's one of those things. You come around a corner, there's your pig. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But wow, it, and you said that he'd just probably come out, there's a little creek over here. Yeah, he's, he's just yeah. come out from the bottom here, he's been rolling in the mud, very nice and dirty. 
Yes. Well, it's it's the first animal for the new Rocky Mountain rifle in the 375 H&H. Shooting a 250 grain GMX bullet and really, I mean, we were so close. Yeah. We were so close. <laughs> but um, he just, he lifted his head, you said, just as, as I pulled the, the trigger. trigger. And so I shot him a little bit lower in the bet than between the eyes, but he came out about right here. Yeah. And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful pig. And it's the first day here in South Africa. So we're pretty happy about that. And I got the shakes all over <laughs> with, so it's all good. But yeah. Clint? Didn't have time to get the shakes there. Eh? <laughs> thank you so thank you. much. Oh, that was great. What a beauty. I love this hair. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, even though we hunted hard and spent many long nights in the blind, that bush pig never did make an appearance. It just goes to show you that no matter where you are in the world, hunting is hunting. I want to thank Clint for his sense of humor and his never quit attitude. It makes all the difference. And maybe we'll see you on our next safari with Wild Horizon. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing and trapping magazine. At Wild Horizon, Guy and Clint understand how special a trip to Africa is. It is their goal to make your adventure everything you want it to be. They don't do cut rate package plans, they do hunt of a lifetime plans. For more information on hunting with Wild Horizon, you can contact Guy from their website at wildhorizon.co.za. Check us out online at outdoorquesttv.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.